Hi, this is the Songbird Homemade Cooking, and this morning I'm making just a simple breakfast of biscuits. These biscuits are not done yet. With these are eggs over easy, but I turned them over. The yolks are underneath. This is cheese on top. That's just keeping warm up there, and I got a little bit of bacon going. I'm gonna take that bacon out, drain it in a minute, and uh. Have some breakfast. And I hope that everyone has a beautiful day. This morning is about keeping it simple as possible. There's a lot of things going on in the world, you know. It's like, no matter how hard you try to stay positive, there's always something's happening. I woke up this morning crying because my ears were hurting from some earphones that I have that don't go in your ear and I like to listen to the rain and uh, using earphones because it was more effective but hey I got over it um, but um, this morning is about keeping it simple I was also crying because I missed a couple of my friends that have passed away even though we none of us even hit 60 yet <laughs> Um, just a little bit of, I just woke up that way, and besides the fact that I'm always in physical pain, we don't want to discuss that. But, um, even with all of that, I still got to try to stay positive. Try so hard. And, it, and it's funny because I was also thinking about my sisters and brothers, siblings. I have so many sisters and brothers, and yes, I'm the oldest, and we didn't grow up in the same household. I believe that's the problem. Um, we didn't grow up, the ones that most of us didn't grow up in the same household, and so it's like they're not used to um, hearing my voice every day. But um, I've kind of, you know, I kind of didn't mind as much before. I don't know if it's because I'm older. Um, I kind of just really wanted to talk to the sisters and brothers now. I'm on the phone at least, have some lunch sometimes, whatever. Um, I guess I'll figure out a way. One of my sisters called me, texted me last night. She was in the emergency room. Her, she speaks, she talks to me every day. Of course, I fed her her bottle and, well, I mean, I fed some of them their bottles too, but we didn't live in the same house. Um, I guess that makes a difference. Maybe I was just like the babysitter, you know. And it's nothing I can't get upset about it with anybody about that. Just the way it is. It just makes me so sad. I would love to. Um, I would love to get together with some sisters and brothers of mine. And, you know, I see people who grew up together in the same house, sisters and brothers, or they were always you know, together every week, and um, they stay tightly connected, like at least a phone call a day, it's like they can't do without each other, and like I said before, it didn't really bother me, because I was used to being alone, but now I don't like this at all, I don't want to go out like this, I'm getting older and older, and this ain't the right way. It's really not. And I would advise that if you have um, children in different households that are, you know, of course that would be, well, no, I can't say only the male because some, some mothers have children in different households that live with other fathers or whatever. I don't know. Um, I've seen some. I would suggest that you always keep them connected on a weekly basis because um, if not, um, it stays this way um, until death do them part. <laughs> but right now I'm going to keep this on a positive note, and that is a positive suggestion that you should um, spare your children heartache, you know, because they can have many, many friends in life, but nothing's like your own sisters and brothers. Um, I say that you should really, really... Spare them the heartache if they're in different households. Make sure that they see each other on a weekly basis, not just once in a while for babysitting. No, no, no. <laughs> you know, 
Uh, it doesn't matter if, you know, if the person's older, because it's definitely not. If I had time to babysit, I had time to visit, you know, for regular visiting. And to me, the babysitting was for, like, visiting. You know, for me it was. I don't think it was that way for the person I was babysitting. But it was that way for me. I saw it as a visit. And uh, everybody enjoy your day. Peace, love, and light.